Hey guys, I think I came to the realization that I might be doing something terribly wrong. Not because the music is a grim tone now, or that the termination point is no longer asking for friends. The fact that, like, the last five encounters I ever had, had a Jerry in it. And you know what? Jerry's really hard to friendship. He takes like nine, nine or eight friendship damage. It's crazy. That guy is just unfriendable. Welcome back to Undertale. I have come to the realization that that first button on my bar is called Fight. And, uh, I'm sure everybody's fine. I'm sure they are. It's like, they're just knocked tame, kind of like in Earthbound. To be safe, I'm not pressing that button anymore. But it seems like nobody's here anymore for some reason. I mean, we could take things for free, but I don't really need any of it. In fact, I bought myself a manly bandana because that's the kind of guy I am. And also, yoink! Look, I might be passive, but that doesn't mean my moral compass points north. If I see treasure in an NPC's house, I'm taking it. It's like archaeology. There's a note here, though, too. I don't understand what you're trying to say there. Nice knowing you, um, uh, really grim letter that I don't want to read again, ever. In fact, I'm just gonna erase that from my mind. Yep, yeah, because decoys are made out of people's children. That's just how it is. You can't rest at the inn, either. Not like we really need to. I have my best friend, Determination Point. And my second best friend, Monster Kid. Everybody ran away somewhere. Those adults could be so weird and dumb, playing hide-and-seek en masse. And they got Undyne, too, yeah. I don't- actually, I don't think she- Oh, yeah, she does come here. Yeah, she, she's okay with it, it's just the heat she can't stand. Speaking of the heat, we could check out what's back here now. In the Grillby's kitchen. Oh, ho, ho, that's so punny. You're so puntastic. What, did Sans make that door? Yeah, we can't go into the kitchen. We're not a Grillby. And you know what? We're not even checking up up there. And I just remembered I said Grillby, and I thought of Trilby. Grillby is the fire Trilby. That is canon now. Of course, nobody in the library either. And I can't check the librarian's desk, but... These books are now unfinished. Because we don't have the monster girl reading them to me as she writes them. She was still working on that one, but she didn't get to anymore. She's busy playing hide-and-seek. It's Papyrus' house, but now is not time for date. Date is coming up. I still haven't learned myself a privacy. Maybe I should learn about privacies from Papyrus. It's time for our boss fight, remember? This is gonna be so much fun. I hope Frisk is over that whole anti-Papyrus thing, though, because... I would really like to enjoy this. Nope. Nope, he's at it again. I can't help it. This guy... I don't know what's with him. Hey, that kind of hurts my feelings, man. Yeah, about that. Uh, Was he playing with sawdust or something when I wasn't looking? Because I th remember vaguely something about dust. Oh, right, yeah, that. Sans did mention something about if I continue on my current objective, my temporal situation will drastically decline. So, what's that all about? Can you explain that one to me? Papyrus can see the best in everyone, though. He knows he could fix this frisk. And also, if you listen closely to the music, it is a slowed-down version of Nyeh, which is Papyrus's main theme. And Papyrus doesn't need to try being a great person, so he has lots of experience. Me and Papyrus are gonna fix this frisk, which almost rhymes. This is exactly what we're talking about. Stop being what you're being. Actually, we need to send him to the Guidance Gate. That'll set him on the straight and narrow. Alright, we made friends of Papyrus after all! 
Man, we didn't even need to do the boss fight first. I think, uh... I think Frisk is learning a few things. He's coming in for a hug! Wow, Papyrus, you are such a great teacher. It's official! Frisk is fixed! But I just got a chill up my spine. I have a bad feeling. Hey, where is the, uh... The awesome boss music that I came to know and love? Where is it? Is it in the check? Actually, I can't even flirt with them. Why is that? Wait a second, who made that flavor text? That's not what I'm thinking. Look, I... I'm definitely not using that. I don't feel like doing a violence, okay? I don't want to do violences today. Wait, that's not me! Papyrus. I, I did a violence! I didn't want to do a violence! Who did the violence? Well, uh... At least you got your head going for you, right? You could still be the head of the Royal Guards. Now's, now's not the time for the jokes. What happened? Papyrus, you're going to be okay, right? You are going to be okay. yo -ho -ho! I don't like this for Frisk anymore. This Frisk is broken. I want Papyrus back. Someone get me a new Frisk. I want a new Frisk right now. Now he wants to move to the left. Or the right. That direction. Towards Undyne. I can't stop him either. I just want to load my save, get Papyrus back. I like the Papyrus. You're a jerk, Frisk. Monster Kid, I appreciate you being the only monster in, like, this entire game so far. But considering current events, I think you'd want to reconsider. I know you really like Undyne, but I'm worried about your well-being. This Frisk is not a good Frisk. He is not good Frisk. He is anti-Frisk. Oh, now it wants me to make 18 friends. I, I don't want to do that. Look, I've tried Spare. It doesn't do anything. Alright, looks like he's... He definitely wants to get this tutu. He's letting me do that, at least. But my, uh, control over this Frisk is now tentative at best. It's like it gave me gave him some kind of power doing that to Papyrus. Oh, and uh yeah, I just remembered, um that over sans a papyrus. Pun not intended. Th there's no one to convince Undyne to go off the wrong path. Actually come to think of it, Papyrus isn't good at doing that anyway. Okay, look guys, um if Undyne asks the last time you checked, Papyrus was pretty much alive. You, you know, like, not dead. Or not re-dead. Because that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Let's just make sure they match up. We all know that Undyne is going to battle us this day. And Monster Kid, I told you before about this. No, it was not awesome. What is happening here is not awesome. D you saw what happened to Papyrus, right? We are watching the same game. We are playing the same game. Also, I need to get like a tripod for you, buddy. And Waterfall's theme is also kind of messed up. Looks like the frisk kind of calmed down now. I have control over again. Aaron, this is not a good time. Ah. Nothing is working! I can't make the frisk not hit things. It's like I, I'm completely impotent once the battle starts. Aaron, I tried my best, but you were just too dumb to live. I'm sorry. <sighs> Do not get in the way of a rabid frisk. This is exactly what this is. I'm guaranteed that this is, there's something medically wrong with this frisk. If anybody you see a frisk in real life doing things like this, immediately call the anti-frisk police because you've got a rogue frisk on your hands. You know, maybe the quiche could help him out. Come on, quiche, you're coming with me. Maybe your moldiness will kill a few of his evil brain cells and just leave a good frisk in its place. Because that would be dandy. 
Actually, as we said before, these echo flowers don't do anything. Even though they've recorded conversations in the future. Washua, this is not a great time. I can't do anything. I I'm just... I have to sit and just watch as he murders all of my monster friends that I worked so hard to make in the last game. And did you guys kind of notice something odd going on with the battle indicator? It's not an exclamation point anymore. It's a smiley face. It's like Frisk really, really enjoys what he's doing. Unlike me. Being the complete opposite, I do not like what he's doing. Well, the good thing is that he can't go back there, because I'm guaranteed no monster's gonna help him. I do know a monster that's gonna help him to die, though! Stand still, take spear! I said stand still, take spear! You love spear! Into the spear! Ah. He has his own will to live and everything. Can it be he's more determined than me? Look how determined he is! He walked through that energy spear like it was nothing. No, he didn't do that to that one. It's like his determination has his limits. But it feels like he's 62% more determined than I am. Alright, into the grass, because you know you don't want to fight Undyne yet. Actually, why don't you fight Undyne? She's a monster. She's right there. Are you trying to farm up love so you can deal with Undyne better? Of course, we all know he doesn't grab Frisk. Yeah, it's Monster Kid again. I'm, I have a feeling this kid just has absolutely no will to live. He's got some kind of weird fanboy death wish. Monster Kid, we gotta talk. C come over here. Yeah, I know, you're, you're totally excited that Undyne just grabbed your face. Yeah, I know what I can't wash off, ever. The memory of Papyrus. I just- I just want to load the save. I- I really can't go on with this much- I need to find out what's going on. I need to find a way to bring Papyrus back. Or at least have a little shrine in his memory. I'll make it out of this determination point. Good night, folks.